So I want to uh, tell you uh, about a project that we undertook in our team and kind of tell you the journey of how we came to discover Mocha 5, uh, what we found out in uh, the process, and where we've come to. And I'll show you a demo. Uh, I'm sure you're all uh, waiting for it with beta breath of, um, of what you can actually put on a USB stick, which is called a lot. Uh, a quick overview about our team. Uh, I am actually part of NetWeaver product management. This is a prototyping team that's embedded inside of the product management. <coughs> The idea is that prototyping and innovation should really be part of the product definition. Uh, so what we do is we build prototypes and then we try to evangelize those out inside of SAP to find somebody who would like to take that into the product and put it into the full suite. Uh, we focus on a much shorter time to market than SAP Research, uh, probably about a year. Um, and we collaborate a lot with partners, so this is my plug uh, to you, uh, that if you're a partner uh, with some interesting technology that you think belongs inside the suite or can be leveraged, uh, we'd like to hear about it because we'd like to find ways to extend our, the footprint and success of our suite. Some examples of things we've done, uh, products are uh, Aventus and Flash Islands, these are coming out this year. Uh, we have other initiatives, including e &L, which actually led to COIL and the creation of this facility and this whole uh, program here. Where there was uh, that that was seeded uh, uh, in part by our group, and then there are just a lot of things that don't result in products, but that show the way uh, of new things that you could do with NetWeaver. Uh, and then we simply just put out an SDN and say, look, here's how to use Rails, or, or here's how to you know integrate your business processes through telephony. So I think in the interest of time and uh, to save face, I will not attempt to explain what the NetWeaver composition environment is uh, in two minutes. Uh, so I'd probably skip over these slides, but this is where it fits in our stack. Uh, you've probably heard about it already. I mean, the, the idea of building uh, lightweight uh, new processes, new user interfaces, uh, ways of looking at information, uh, and ways of uh, creating brand new um, services on top of this. Um, the important thing here for our purposes is that it is uh, a complete development environment. The, we want to give this out to ISVs, we want to give this out to customers, we want to convey to them that this is not your regular SAP. This is something you run on a laptop, uh, this is something uh, you can now run on a Mac, apparently using this technology. Um, and it's something that uh, you can get started with very easily. You can build a new enterprise service. You can build a new user interface consuming the existing services that you have inside of your company. Um, and uh, you can use the entire ESR and all of your embedded, all of your existing installed uh, services and your ECC6 and all of this sort of stuff. And you can get going quickly. And that was actually the challenge. We had this new product coming to market, uh, that we were composition environment. It, uh, it reached market in December. How do we convey to people that this is very easy to use? How do we get people to start consuming this very quickly? Uh, so yes, it is easy to install. Uh, NetWeaver CE installs in your laptop in about an hour. It installs our database, our J2E server. Uh, it's a pretty heavyweight stack. Uh, it might not be something that you want to put on your own laptop uh, and, and have running uh, during the PowerPoint presentation. Um, and it does take a fair amount of space on your machine. It, it takes about 10 gigabytes, so all said and done. Or, um, so it's, or, well, okay, that's, that's, that's with the virtual machine. But it, it is big. Um, so the field was kind of rejecting this. I don't want to put this on my laptop. It's just one of the products to show. Uh, so the, they weren't that excited about maintaining the different versions. Uh, using a central demo system to show this lightweight consumable uh, thing that runs on your laptop, doesn't really send the message uh, of what we're trying to get at. So what we came to was the idea of putting the NetWeaver composition environment, uh, a bunch of demos all together, on a USB stick. So we did. Um, now that was the idea. We had no idea how you were supposed to do that kind of thing. Uh, but it sounded like a great, great idea. And so let me show you the... Uh, Let me show you what happens uh, when you when you put in the stick. So this uh, we discovered Boca Five um, as a way of embedding uh, a virtual machine onto the stick. And uh, Monica talked about uh, its other attributes, but that's how we came to it. 
So you plug in the stick, and what it's going to do now is it's, it's compressed a virtual machine uh, onto the stick. And so it is going to start the, virtual, the VMware player uh, running off of the stick uh, and load up our image. Now what we wanted to convey in a field engagement was how easy this is. And so we did not boot the operating system here. What we have actually done is snapshotted uh, the system the way we want it uh, and suspended the virtual machine and written it out to the stick. Um, and so it does take a moment to, uh, to come out of the suspended state during which the salespeople generally talk about uh, how great composition environment is and all of its features, which unfortunately I already told you about. So if you've used uh, VMware before, uh, you know that it does take a minute, uh, so it looks great, but it's not actually usable just yet. Uh, VMware does have to reconnect the network. So in the interest of time, what I'll tell you about is some of the benefits uh, of Mocha 5 while we're, while we're waiting for the network connection to come back. What we found very useful was that it took a 10 gigabyte image and shrunk it down to 5 gigabytes. What we found very useful is that this thing actually performs a little better off of a USB stick than my hard drive. Maybe even my hard drive needs defragmenting, but it, it, it performs very nicely. Um, what we found very useful was that you can actually uh, click an icon on the Mocha 5 thing and throw away everything you've done and revert it to sort of factory settings, which is very useful for the field who like to mess around with these things um, and tend to occasionally screw up their images. So we can get it back to factory settings because of the architecture of Mocha 5, which allows them to uh, essentially track deltas instead of updating the VM itself directly. 